Hi everybody, my name is Sam Pedro and welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to be sharing the best books about astronauts and about the space program. I've read a handful lately uh, and I find both astronauts and the space program to be very interesting. I've learned a lot as I've read about astronauts and the numerous obstacles they have overcome uh, to reach their goal uh, of becoming astronauts. And so I've, I've had a great time reading about them. Even if you're only casually interested in space, I think you will find these books to be interesting. Uh, I've learned a lot and I'm excited to share these six books with you today. So I'm gonna start off with four books about astronauts. The first one is Spaceman by Mike Massimino. I've mentioned this book multiple times on this channel. Not only is it one of my favorite books about astronauts and about space, but it's also one of my favorite books of all time. Uh, in any realm. I, I find this book very inspirational and I've learned a lot. Uh, it really is a, the book about overcoming obstacles uh, to become an astronaut. Uh, Mike Massimino is very smart and intelligent um, and he is very capable, but he basically details almost every obstacle that was thrown at him uh, to keep him out of the space program. And he walks you through how he overcame all these obstacles and even physical obstacles. Um, there were times where doctors basically told him no from a physical standpoint that he wasn't able to, to join the space program or to go into space. And he basically trained his body to, to overcome that uh, at an incredible level. And so I love this book. I, I've come to really, really like Mike Massimino as a person. Um, I've watched numerous interviews of him, and I think he's just a great asset to the space program. And I think this is a wonderful book. It's entertaining. And if you're going to start with any of these books as kind of an introduction to, to astronauts and, and the space program, I think Spaceman is a great one to start with. The second book is Carrying the Fire by Michael Collins. I did do a video solely on this book, so I will put a link to it. And you can go check that video out if you want more details. But Michael Collins was the third member of Apollo 11. Uh, so crew members with Buzz Aldrin and Neil Armstrong. In this book, it's an autobiography of his life. And he talks about the early space program and what it was like preparing uh, for, for Apollo 11. One of the greatest moments in the last hundred years uh, in landing a man on the moon you get a front row view of, of that experience from Michael Collins. Uh, he's also incredibly funny and he wrote this book uh, without help of any ghostwriter. And so it's incredibly authentic and I absolutely loved Carrying the Fire. The third book is An Astronaut's Guide to Life on Earth by Chris Hadfield. This is similar to a lot of these astronaut books where they just kind of highlight their life and how they ended up getting into the space program. Uh, this one's a little different though because I do feel like Chris Hadfield um, I mean, all astronauts are, are, are capable, uh, above average intelligence, and can do all these great things. But Chris Hadfield definitely comes across as someone who is just exceptional at so many things. Uh, it was almost overwhelming to read about how <laughs> exceptional he is at all aspects of life. Um, but it's also very fascinating, um, very entertaining. I think this is also very an entertaining book. Um, so definitely check out An Astronaut's Guide to Life on Earth. And the final astronaut book I'll mention is Endurance by Scott Kelly. Uh, this one, is, this one's probably my least favorite of the four. It's still good though. Scott Kelly spent a year in space aboard the International Space Station. And so part of the book is his upbringing and what led him to be an astronaut. And then the other part is about what it's like to live in space for a year. Uh, so definitely interesting. Um, and, I, and I recommend it as well. The next two books I'm going to talk about are about the space program. Um, so the first one is The Right Stuff by Tom Wolfe. And this one is an incredibly influential book, a uh, pretty well-known book. And, and why I say that is, as I've read about astronauts, almost all of them have had a brush in with reading this book or watching the movie The Right Stuff, which is based on the book. Um, so a lot of people, like Mike Massimino, for example, he wanted to become an astronaut after he read this book. Uh, it, it's what made him want to become an astronaut. And other astronauts have, have said similar things. 
And so what the right stuff is, is it's about the very early, early beginnings of the space program. And specifically about man's attempt to break the sound barrier and to begin orbiting Earth. So the very beginning of the program. And so the reason it's called The Right Stuff is Tom Wolfe is, is really investigating what's driving these, these young men who are incredibly smart and seem and appear to be of sound judgment to, to strap themselves to rockets and fly around. Um, because the very beginning, it was a very dangerous career to be in, to be a pilot. And there, a lot of them, you know, crashed. There was a lot of crashes. There was a lot of fatalities. And you never knew who, who was next. And that was kind of this idea is uh, you had these group of pilots and you never knew which one of the pilots uh, wouldn't be coming back from their mission. And so he's trying to explain, did, you know, what is it? Did, what combination of things gave them the right stuff to want to be able to do something so crazy um and this book it's it's intense it's fast paced uh but it, it's really a fun fun read and it's really interesting to read about um you know the who these people were who really set the tone for what the space program eventually became the final book i will talk about is a man on the moon and this one is all about the lunar program and I really liked this book because it basically starts from when John F. Kennedy set the goal to put a man on the moon. Um, and it goes through kind of every major stage of what, what took for that to happen and beyond that. And so it kind of goes through every lunar mission. It gives you a brief synopsis of each mission and what the purpose was and actually what happened on the mission and who the key players were. And so I really liked this book because, I mean, I knew about the, the moon program, I knew about Apollo 11, uh, and I knew about Apollo 13. But beyond that, I didn't know that much about the actual lunar program. And so this was able to give me a lot of information about the whole thing. So a pretty good overview. I learned a lot. Uh, it also gave life to kind of the challenge um, uh, and the preparation that was needed to actually get a man on the moon. Um, yeah, what a daunting goal uh, from JFK to, you know, to put a man on the moon, something that had never been done. And essentially starting with a group of very smart people locked in a room with a whiteboard, how do we do this? And you kind of get to see how that unfolds from an operational standpoint, which I also found fascinating and just how many things needed to go right and how many people were on the team backing um, these great missions. And so I really recommend A Man on the Moon. And so those were the six books I wanted to talk about. Great books about astronauts and great books about the space program. Let me know below if you have read a book about an astronaut or about the space program and that you enjoyed. Because uh, I'm looking for more recommendations. I find uh, space and astronauts to be fascinating to learn about. And I'm always looking for a good book. And hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, uh, give this video a like and hit the subscribe button. And I will see you in the next video.